Flat foot deformity uh, in adults really can go by many different clinical terms. The one that probably is easiest to understand and utilize is um, adult acquired flat foot deformity. And that you know, means exactly what's stated there. It's a, it happens in the adult, it's acquired, meaning a patient has a normal arch, and with time it collapses, and it's a deformity. Um, it's a deformity that involves both soft tissue, meaning the, the tendons and ligaments, and also the bones that, you know, as it progresses. And it's really more of a syndrome, in what, and it involves exactly that. So, and it goes through stages. You know, starts as just an inflammatory condition, and we honestly don't know what starts it, but it involves a combination of the, the one of the strong ligaments of the, of the foot and ankle degenerating in combination with some laxity of the ligaments of the bony arch. And so there's a combination of that bone and ligament problem with that tendon problem. We don't know where it starts, but once the arch collapses, the tendon becomes involved and the, um, and the, the arch goes through a progressive collapse. There are a lot of different options for um, uh, flat foot deformity uh, non-surgically. So you start, when it first starts, it's usually just an inflammation along that tendon. And as we were saying before, flat foot you know, is a combination of a tendon injury with collapse of the bony arch. When it starts though, it's mostly a tendon problem where it's inflamed. So that responds usually to anti-inflammatory medications and over-the-counter arch supports. Flat foot deformity usually goes through three stages, one, two, and three. And as it progresses from stage one to stage two, that's when you start needing more of your um, more aggressive treatment. And usually you start with a custom-made arch support. Um, you, and that can be combined with physical therapy. As you go from stage two to stage three, that means that the, the deformity is becoming more rigid and more advanced. And in, for those cases, you may need a custom-made brace, um, which can also be combined with physical therapy. Surgery for flat foot deformity is quite complicated, and it really, and there's not one uh, easy answer, there's not one recipe for flat foot deformity, and that's, you, and so the treatment has to be tailored to the individual patient. So uh, it usually requires a relationship, a good relationship between the patient and the physician and going over the options. It really depends on age, activity level, and expectations. For the most part, the, the surgeries involve reconstructing the, the tendon um, and moving the bones around to reconstruct the arch. Um, in the later stages, I have to basically resort to fusion procedures, which means taking the bones, realigning them, and then uh, fusing the bones together. Uh, but generally requires an um, outpatient surgery. It can take an hour to two, um, and you're in a splint then a cast with non-weight bearing for six to eight weeks. So there's quite a long recovery time to let that tendon and, and uh, bones heal. Following that, there is um, basically weight bearing in a, in a boot for, for about four to six weeks followed by physical therapy. And the final recovery time is usually around six months, even a little bit longer for flat foot reconstruction.